Hey everybody, this is Doe. Welcome back. This is our third match in LastPlayerStanding.com's Open Tournament number 2. This is the quarterfinals, the round of 8, and I'm pretty excited to cast this one. We've got a Terran versus Terran. Yeah, I know you guys are like, oh, TVT, so boring, but it's not. TVT is usually very cool. It, it, okay, okay. It can be boring sometimes, you know, like in the mid-game, everyone's just making units, not doing anything, but lately I think TVT has been pretty cool. So, And we've got two pretty cool Terrans to watch, too. We've got... Fanatic Misker, who is actually Kawhi Rice. This is Kawhi Rice spawning as our yellow Terran in the bottom right part of GSL Crevasse. And at the top of the map is our blue Terran, Six Jacks DDE. So um, two of what I would consider some of the best foreigner Terrans right now in North America. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of DDE. I've been for a long time. So uh, yeah, excited to see these guys duke it out. Excited to see who advances in the tournament. You have to find out they're spawning top versus bottom. So that's going to impact a couple things here. I mean, you can go ahead on a map like Crevasse and just kind of run right up the side here, go through these rocks, and, you know, that, that gets you your opponent's base a little bit faster. I mean, when you're doing things like siege tanks and positioning mech units and things like that, um, it's actually really nice to be able to just pull up in this area and this area and just kind of deny this third for a while. So, I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see how these guys play. Um, Kawhi Rai is known for, for uh, kind of sticking with his bio style despite, you know, the mech kind of direction that TVT is going right now, so I'll have to see if he's still sticking with his bio style or if he's decided to try kind of the new school way of playing TVT, which is actually kind of the old school way of TVT if you look back at StarCraft 1 even, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, looks like we may have had a gas first from DDE, I believe we did, yeah, because it looks like he's going to have just enough gas for factory as soon as the barrack finishes, so, finishes. so um, when you see that, that means that it was gas first. And looks like no gas from Kawhi Rice. He's going to go ahead and one racks expand, it looks like. Unless he's planning on putting down like five more barracks and grabbing all his SCVs and going all in. But I've got a feeling this SCV is going to prove me wrong. Yep, this isn't the beta. We don't six racks anymore. Well, some people still do. <laughs> but uh, most people don't. Yep, there's a factory right away for a DDE. I uh, wouldn't be surprised at all to see if he was doing something like a Hellions or going for Banshees. would be probably a little bit more likely. No second gas, though, so... Oh, never mind, there is a second gas there. So will it be Banshees with Cloak, or will it be just a regular Banshee? And still the outside possibility of Blue Flame Hellion as well. Um, although I really should revise that and say less of an outside possibility, but more of a real possibility now that we're talking about TVT um, today. A lot of TVT these days is going mech, especially in Korea. Now, although these guys are Koreans, they're actually not in Korea. Quirus, of course, in America, DDE in Canada. So that's why we consider them foreigner players. And there's a starport. Yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised at all. Uh, tech Lab looks like it will be. Some Banshees. And decide to make the Tech Lab on the barracks in order to get a Hellion out. I kind of like that just because when you scout that no gas, um, there are the there is a possibility of that kind of early-ish marine push So it's nice to have a Hellion or two out to do some map control do some scouting and um, you know just defend against that So yep, there's starport switching over so we will see banshees from DDE and you know He's getting a lot of gas. I wonder if we're gonna see cloak and then the banshee. That's the possibility. Nope banshee first Might be getting cloak a little bit later DD poking with that Hellion. Ooh, takes some damage on that. The Hellion barely, barely gets away. That was a little bit dangerous. Yikes. Close one. DD is going to go ahead and wall in, it looks like. Yeah, and okay, so we will be getting cloaked too. Alright, so now that he's got the cloak banshees on the way, probably going to see that command center pretty soon. So Kawhi Rise is going to have a bit of an economic lead, as you can see, but. You know, with no stim for his marines and just kind of a small group of marines out, DDE has a, a decent chance of doing some damage here with this. I have to see how that all ends up. Oh, but a nice scan by Kawhi Rai sees exactly what DDE is doing and how is he going to respond? Yeah, where it is. There's, there's the engineering bay immediately with that. Have you ever noticed how fast engineering bays build? That's really quick. Alright, yep, getting stim. Wants to be prepared for those banshees. First Banshee is out already, or it should be out, I thought. Where's the First Banshee? Okay, there it is, I was wondering. It escaped me for a moment. So the First Banshee is incoming, it's going to kill the SCV building the turret, so that's going to be a bit of a delay. So it looks like Kawhi Rice will lose some units, losing three SCVs right there, but DDE is going to need to micro carefully against these Marines. 
Nice job there, not letting that Banshee take too much damage. Focusing the turret, he wants to take that out. Oh, barely not able to get it. So close, so DDE is going to need to find another angle to work in with this Banshee here. Second Banshee coming down from the other side right now, and there's a command center for DDE going up. So Kawhi Rice trying to defend Stim about a little over halfway done. And yeah, DDE just trying to deny those turrets as long as he can. He does have Cloak right now, but, you know, turrets have a very long vision range. Let's see how that works out. Yep, Cloaking, you can't see it. There's another Banshee doing some damage here. Cloaking! And now Kawhi Rice is in a little bit of trouble here. He's taking a decent amount of damage, and he's going to need to use multiple scans to take out these Banshees because he's not been able to get the turrets up. And that Banshee chasing that Marauder kind of comedically. Other Banshee not so comedically for Kawhi Rice taking out a bunch of SCVs. Uh-oh. And yeah, that Banshee just had a turret range. Oh, that may be a little bit close. Okay, still just barely out of range here. That's right on the edge. Yeah, there's a scan. Oh, not the best scan for Kawhi Rays. He's actually not going to get the Banshee. Ouch. And DDE actually doing a ton of damage with this. Way more damage than you would normally see. Oh, this Banshee is out of energy. And another scan does take that one out. This Banshee might be soon afterwards. Actually, DDE not really controlling this Banshee. There we go. Now controlling it. SCVs are being transferred over to the expansion. So, uh, DDE, yeah, three more, three factories down totally is going to be going mech. I love it. I love watching mech in TVT. The Blue Flame upgrade is being researched. Hasn't gotten stim quite yet. This Banshee's still surviving to come back and do damage a little bit later. And yeah, DDE, 20 supply ahead right now. Very far ahead. And yeah, look at this. Kawhi Rice with three barracks pulling down the factory. I'm guessing this is only so he can build a starport for Medivacs. Wouldn't be surprised at all. Oh, and the Banshee finally does get taken out. But Kawhi Rice, man, he took a decent amount of damage. 15 workers killed by DDE. And uh, 25 units killed overall, too. So nice damage done by DDE so far this game. That's going to set him way ahead. And when you are behind against a Terran that's mecking and you're going bio, that puts you in a very, very difficult situation. So I think for the rest of this game, Kawhi Rice has really got his work cut out for him. DDE looking pretty good. Here come the Hellions, if they can sneak in there, they can definitely do some damage, and Cloak Banshee as well, killing all the SCVs, building the bunkers, and he can actually just target down those bunkers a little bit. Nope, be careful with the Hellion there. One bunker does go down, and the Hellions are in the base, that is a lot of Marines, and not a lot of anything else, there is one Marauder there, oh, a ton of Marines getting roasted, all the Marines getting roasted for Kawhi Rice. A lot of damage being done by DDE here, those two Marauders are going to be the saving grace for Kawhi Rice, but not before he loses even more SCVs and some mules as well. Wow, the harassment for DDE this game is just relentless. I mean, there's Hellions here, there's a Banshee doing damage here. You need to be careful enough to lose it to the turret. Whoops. And the Hellions are dead as well, but even more damage being done. Let's go back to that units lost tab. Up to 29 workers killed, 52 units total. Yeah, DDE getting so far ahead, he's going to get a reactor on this starboard for Vikings, of course. And, yeah, command center, a few more factories being... Actually, that's the fourth command center for DDE. Man. Yep, what can I say? I mean, DDE is just really far ahead right now. Kawhi Rice is going to have a, a horrible time trying to catch up. Doing the best he can. He's got the upgrades. He's got combat shields, of course. He's got stim. I just beat the single player, and I got to say... I'm disappointed that I can't stim my Marauders in single play. It hurts. Some of those Terran vs. Protoss levels, it's like, Oh, I want to stim these Marauders so bad, but I can't do it. Yeah, I mean, DDE pulling farther ahead. Interestingly enough, getting a Planetary here, I don't know if this is quite necessary. Um, I feel like an Orbital would be a little bit better. Um, Definitely wants to keep things safe, of course, with that. Marines do have a hard time killing planetaries, of course. So yeah, just a lot of map control from DDE right now. Doing a lot of scouting, making sure there's no hidden bases anywhere. I mean, what can you say, DDE, just on top of this game in a big way? I love the Terran music, too, by the way. I know everybody says that, but it's because it's so good. Cool if they brought back some of the Brood War Terran music though, you know, maybe like update it a little bit. I don't know. Or maybe didn't update it. They could just use the original song files. That'd be perfectly fine with me. 
lot of Hellions being produced by DDE. Um, Hellions tanks no Thors quite yet. Does he have an armory for upgrades? He actually does not right now. Okay, that's a little, that's, all right. What is getting killed right now? Oh, okay, the rocks, obviously. I'm like, what? Yeah, so, um, a little bit surprised, actually, that there's no armory going up for a DDE. Okay, there we go. Now, as soon as I say it, of course, he does put down two armories. Definitely want to get those upgrades rolling as fast as you can. Oh, I like this. Do a hidden base for DDE. I mean, he can really do whatever he wants right now. He's so far ahead. He's going to see this, of course, move up for Kawhi Rice right now. And, yeah. I mean, Kawhi Rice, really, really good at controlling his bio. He's got some of the best micro in uh, North America, in my opinion, here. Oh, but more Hellions getting dropped. We're somehow getting into the space here. Doing some more damage to the SCVs. We can get cleaned up pretty quickly, but it's not going to help too much. 130 supply to 82 right now. Yeah, and a scan from Kawhi Rice. I think he knows he's going to need to come out and make something happen right now, and that's exactly what he's going to try to do. He's going to need to have like the miracle position and uh, miracle positioning to make this work, though. Does he have a third base? He does have a third base getting into position here. Oh, but all these Hellions, he's got to be careful. Oh, big Siege Tank hits. Kawhi Rice moving in right now. I think he's just kind of said, all right, you're way ahead. I'm just going to go for it, see what happens. GG, there it is. And DDE takes the first game with some really nice harassment getting so far ahead. Um, yeah, so let's move right on to game two. It's the LastPlayerStanding.com's quarterfinals. Six Jacks DDE versus Kawhi Rice. Be right back. <laughs> 